First of all, I'd like to thank my pastor for this opportunity. I'd like to thank our assistant pastor in his absence. And then I thank the members of Donaldson Chapel. Thank my family and visitors if there may be any. I just thank God for another preaching opportunity. It's just always a blessing to be able to proclaim the word of God. This morning our scripture reading will be coming from Ephesians 5, 19, and 20, and 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. Ephesians 5, 19 through 20, 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. Ephesians 5, 19, 20 says, Speak to one another with psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Sing and make music in your heart to the Lord. Always giving thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And 1 Thessalonians 5, 16, 18 says, Be joyful always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. This morning, my brothers and sisters, I would like to speak to you on the topic a proper perspective on Thanksgiving. Amen. Thanksgiving is the one day in which we, like those early pilgrims, set aside time in our busy schedule to give thanks to God. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. But the Word of God tells us that this should be a continual daily attitude. Paul's main subject here is praise and thanksgiving. Notice the other important words in these passages. Always. Continually. And in all circumstances. It sounds as if Paul is talking about a church service. But he is. Especially in Ephesians, he says, speak to one another with songs, hymns, and spiritual songs. All right. Sing and make music in your heart. Yes. But he isn't talking about a church service. He's talking about a continual attitude for Christians. Yes. An attitude of heart. How we are to be to each other. But how, you may wonder, can we have this attitude continually, especially in all circumstances? I believe the answer lies in our perspective of thanksgiving. To be thankful in all circumstances, we need a proper perspective of our circumstances and of our God. Only then will we be able to give thanks to the Lord always. Now, there are at least three attitudes that still await our gratitude. Three things that keep us from being thankful. One is our pride. This is the attitude that says, nobody ever gave me anything. I worked for everything I had. For years I studied hard, and now it's time to pay it off. With this kind of attitude, we feel that we have no one to thank but ourselves. Another attitude that keeps us from being thankful is a critical spirit of constant complaint. Instead of being grateful, this person will always find something to complain about. I remember a lady that was known as an incurable grumbler. Constantly complaining about everything. At last, her preacher thought he had found something about which she would be happy. She had produced the finest crop for miles around when 
Now, preacher talked with her, he said, with a beaming smile, you must be very happy, Mary. Yeah. Everyone is saying how healthy your potatoes look this year. Uh. True, they're pretty good, said Mary. Yes. But what am I going to do when I leave bad ones to feed the pigs? Oh. A third attitude that keeps us from being grateful is callousness. Mm. It has been said that if the stars only came out once a year, we would stay out all night to watch them. But they are there every night. And we have grown accustomed to that. The Israelites grumbled because they had no food. God miraculously sent manna from heaven. He, he covered the ground with manna, except the Sabbath day. Every day they were fed. Then they started to grumble because it was the same thing every day. They had a miracle straight from God. Every day. But we're no longer satisfied. My brothers and sisters, you know, some of us, I don't care how much we get, we're never satisfied. We always want more and more and more. But because of pride, carelessness, or critical spirit, we will never be truly thankful for all that God has given us. Sometimes the circumstances of our lives are not always the best. In fact, they may be downright bad. But still, we are to look for something to be thankful for. And there's always something positive for which we can be thankful. See, we give thanks in all circumstances. Plain, complaining doesn't change anything. Sometimes it makes things worse. It amplifies frustration, spreads discontent and discontent and can invoke an invitation for the devil to cause havoc with our lives. Complaining makes us miserable. Psalm 77 3 says, I complained and my spirit was overwhelmed. A positive, thankful person is a great witness in this dark world. We only shine when we are thankful. Our light shines for the Lord when we are thankful. Instead of looking at the negatives of our lives and complaining, we must look for the positives and give thanks. Giving thanks is God's will for our lives. Giving thanks to God and others is what pleases the Lord. If you are thankful to God, then you will be glowing. You will not be constantly critical and pessimistic. But eternally thankful. Yes. Brothers and sisters, yeah. we grumble, yeah. we complain, yeah. we never have enough, no matter what God gives us. Yeah. We ask God for food. Uh -huh. He puts food on our table. Yeah. Might be red beans and rice. We are not satisfied. Yeah. We say, Lord, what mean? these red beans are all right. Yeah. But Lord, if I only had a piece of chicken, try. To go with it. It'll be much better. Then we complain about the house we live in. God gives us a house. We never satisfied. We always want more. So Lord, this house is alright. It's alright, but it'll be better if I had a bigger house. Then he might give us a car. Might be a Chevrolet. Not satisfied. We ride, but we're still not satisfied. We want more. And more and more. Yeah. We want a Mercedes. Yeah. <laughs> Yet we are riding, but we're still not satisfied. Yeah. My sisters and brothers, you gotta be thankful yeah. for whatever you have. Yeah. I don't care how small it might be, you must be thankful yeah. for whatever God has done for you. Yeah. You see, God don't have to do nothing for us, yeah. but He does it anyway because He loves us. And we should love him as much. Yeah. We should love him and be thankful for whatever he does for us. Yeah. My brothers and sisters, I don't know about you, yeah. but I've had some good days. Yeah. I've had some bad days. Yeah. I've had some real days. But Lord, when I look around, yeah. I think things over. Yeah. I don't have good days. Yeah. I'll pray my bad days. Yeah. I'll pray for my bad days. God has brought me through this. He's brought me through that. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. You see, he made a way out of nowhere. He made a way that I couldn't see no way. And he made a way for you. And he made a way. God is good. God is so good. He opened doors. 
He opened doors that were closed against you. He opened doors for you. Has he done anything for you? Has he been good? Has he been good? He's been so good to me. I can't thank him enough. I just thank him. I praise him. And just let like Paul. I don't care what my circumstances do. I'm going to praise him in him. And he's been too good. Too good. Too good. I just love you. And I thank you. My brothers and sisters, I deserve you. And all you do, just always give God the praise due. And always remember to keep a proper perspective on Thanksgiving. God bless.
the Lord has brought you, you got something to praise God about. Amen. 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 Uh, we want to thank uh, uh, Brother Mitchell for uh, bringing out uh, this morning. And uh, our choir, our choir members, we want to thank them, the uh, ushers uh, uh, who are here, our deacons, and, and uh, our deacons, now Sister Bridget Walker, Reverend Parker, Reverend Jones, and uh, Reverend Joseph are out of town, and we thank all our ministers for being here. And uh, uh, again, we are truly, truly, truly blessed uh, on, on this morning. We want you to keep, uh, we have at the altar call, uh, Brother uh, Deacon, uh, Peter Tatch in prayer. Deacon, Deacon Hatch in, in prayer. He's been under the, the, the weather uh, since last weekend and this weekend, so keep Deacon Hatch in prayer. And Sister Hatch, uh, 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 one of her son, Kenny, has been up and down and very ill. And, you know, he grew up here and, you know, they've had challenges of his illness among their children and my brother, brother Hatch is uh, ill. So we ask God that you pray for him because, you know, he, 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 if he's well, he's here. If he's well, he's here. Amen. Amen. So again, we, when we thank all of you, we ask you to be prayerful and to be careful, uh, traveling to, uh, to, uh, uh, back and forth. Uh, and ask the family members to be careful and be careful. And we're going to ask Pastor the Queer to come and give us a closing uh, of our prayer. Give us a big kiss. Amen. Let us stand. Bow here. We come about our Father. Here's again we come in your presence and in your sight. God, our Father, we come with our head, we come with trouble heart, we come with confused mind. We come, this is thanks in our God, that you brought us from January, February, March, April, May, and June, July, August, September, October, and November. God, our Father, sometimes we was up and sometimes we were down, but through it all, you brought us your God. God, our Father, you've been good to us. You brought us from a mighty long way. God, our Father, we ask you now to look upon Sister Jackson, God. Hold her in your hands this morning, Lord. Look upon the one that we don't know by name, God. Look upon down the chapel this morning. Flick out the gift in his family, Lord. Hold them in your hands this morning. Look upon the one that's traveling, dear God. Bring them safe back home, God. Please for the hampers, dear Lord. I love calling your name this morning. The more I call your name, the better I feel this morning. Now, Lord, I, I just want to say thank you now, God. Now, God, when this life run is over, Lord, when I'm going to last my way, when I've done all I can do, Lord, Lord, if you don't do anything here for me, you already done enough, Lord. Now, Lord, look behind prison bar, Lord. Now, Lord, I know you're able now, God. Now let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart be accepted. Oh, God, our strength and our redeemer. We say thank you now, God. Thank God we love you because you're first love us. We thank you now, God. Bless the first lady, God. Now, God, we ask you now look upon the one that lying on the bed of fiction. Hold them, God, in your hand. Please, Lord, have mercy. Now, Father, we pray that it's over. Lord, we can't meet on this side. But we'll meet on the other side. While well, God tell them to be together. Now, thank you now, God. Let the words of my mouth and the benediction of my being simple, God, my strength and my redeemer. All God people respond by saying, Amen. 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 Oh!